What is up guys? Welcome back to another Tennessee vlog. We've got the prelude in the garage today. It's been raining, so we're gonna take advantage of the weather. As promised, get started on this interior swap. So today what I really wanna get done is, with the help of my friend David filming, thank you bro. We wanna get the headliner removed and then wrapped in suede for starters. We may hold off on some of the paintwork until we get back up to Massachusetts, but we'll see how it goes, how far we get along. So if today we can get the headliner and the sunroof visor wrapped in suede, then we will be well on our way to completing the interior swap to black on the prelude but come on guys let's go take a look at what we're going to be doing today so climbing into the prelude as you can see we've just got this kind of basic looking tan fabric everywhere so just to recap really quickly we're going to be doing new seats probably rear seat delete we're going to be painting all this blue plastic to black and then suede for the headliner as well as all of these b pillars c pillars and a pillars most everything in here can be removed with a trim tool and a Phillips head screwdriver. So for example, that is just going to pop off and then there's a Phillips head underneath the light. As well as these visors here, they're just Phillips head screws. The mirror, everything can come off fairly easily. So all we should have to do is get these accessories removed and then loosen up the tops of the A, B, and C pillars up top. Just enough to allow us to remove the headliner and get it out of the car. This is the first time I've ever really done a headliner removal. So guys, this isn't going to be a perfect tutorial but if you do learn something out of this then great i'm very happy that i made this video to help you guys out so take it for what it is enjoy it sit back relax crack open a soda or whatever you be drinking on let's get started on this headliner we've basically gotten all well, almost all of the pillars out from this side. I'm going to start working from the back up and releasing all the clips on these pillars. But as you can tell, this thing is just ready to come down. All we need to do is get this side off and the entire headliner should fall out. Just want to emphasize on this, guys, use a trim tool and just take your time and be patient. It's not worth cracking your pillars and the plastic on them. They're held in basically with some metal retaining clips, so they're pretty, um, pretty rigid. They're not going to break on you. The only thing that might break is the actual plastic itself. We've already started to separate this here. Actually, this might be ready to go. So now what we want to do is move up to this piece here. You just stick your trim tool down and just ever so slightly start bringing it out. And you'll hear it kind of pop out of place like that. And then there's a clip probably about every three or four inches. Before you start going any further, it's good to know that this piece and this piece are connected and really aren't meant to be separated. Be very careful with this seam here. Next, you just want to do basically the same thing and start coming down, but David, probably be easier if you came on this side. There's probably a good number of clips on this side as well, so just very carefully start working your way kind of around here and just applying light pressure. As you can tell, it's not really wanting to come out, so just, again, take your time with it, guys. Now we've got the first clip out on this front pillar. Just start working your way down. I recommend, instead of pulling it like this, put your trim tool in the seam and turn it like that to give yourself more leverage. I find that that works a little bit easier. And now we've pretty much got this entire piece removed. Here's a good look at it, guys. You got three clips on the A pillar and four clips on this intermediate piece in between the A and B pillars. Now that we have the pillars removed, we still have a little bit of the C pillars in the back, but you can tell this now is pretty flimsy and will just fall down. So all we need to do now is kind of finagle it around like this. Give it a little slight bend to get it out. And now it should just fall down like that. We can pretty much, with the seats all the way back, get the headliner out like that. Done. The next step for this is gonna be to remove the existing fabric on top, the tan, as well as, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but you can see there's about a quarter inch layer of foam in between the actual you know, cardboard headliner. So we need to separate this off of here. Figure we'll just jump into time lapse and we'll catch up with you guys when we have this all done. fabric and about 90% of this foam off. Even where the areas where it doesn't look like there's foam, if you were to rub your hand, you can still feel some fibers. So I definitely still want to hit this with a drill and a wire brush. And I'll show you guys later, but you ever so slightly just want to weight the brush onto the this particle board or whatever it is. 
and just run it across to get any pieces of fabric, foam, glue off of there. That way you're gluing the new stuff right onto a very clean surface. Got the DeWalt drill with the wire brush on there. Just make sure, as you can tell, the bristles kind of do go in a certain direction. So they're, in this case, going this way. So you want to make sure that when you're doing it on the board, it's going in the direction of the bristles. You're not going against the grain. As many of you guys have requested, I finally picked up some safety glasses. Actually, it was a kind of a Christmas present for my dad, stocking stuffer type thing. So we're always looking to up our level here on Elevated Media. Safety first this year, 2020, new year, new me, let's be good. Hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit with this cover on, but essentially just very lightly set the drill down. You don't wanna put any pressure down. Just let it sit right on top. And you're gonna basically just make movements like this. And you'll notice how it will just pick up all of this foam. All this foam that just came off of here, this is why we need to get this off is over time, this will peel off eventually. And then if we just throw the glue and the suede right on that, it's gonna eventually peel up on us. So we'll just do it right the first time, get all of this foam off. I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes probably doing this. So we'll just time lapse it. And then we can go out, get our materials, start getting this headliner wrapped in suede. Headliner is completely cleaned off. There were some sections like here where it actually might be easier if I flip it around and show you, but this was already like this. I mean, this stuff is just flaking off. It's so old. Um, you can tell here it's kind of ripped apart. So what Dave and I are gonna do is probably grab some duct tape and on this backside here, lay some tape to kind of reinforce some of these broken spots. And then uh, we should still have no problem putting the film and the suede onto this side. I just got to uh, Joann Fabrics. Dave's got the headliner just for reference. I'm gonna go grab some suede from there. I think I'm gonna bring, oh, I can't do this with one hand, maybe I can. Ah, the camera! Oh, I hope the camera's okay. All right, I'm gonna grab the steering wheel and bring that with, just so we can kind of match the suede a little bit better. All right, prelude. The interior swap has officially begun. The old cowboy boots on, you know, when in Rome. Out of all the fabric, I think we finally might have found something that is pretty close to the suede on here. It's, it's faux, not faux a suede microfiber yeah. ma fabric made to look like leather. This is going to be on like the roof of the headliner, so yeah, we'll look darker just because we're looking up. Let me see your wheel. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pretty close, dude. Um, I just don't think the fibers are as big, but it's yeah. not the end of the world. I think this one that we originally found is gonna be the one we're gonna go with, just trying to figure out how much we're gonna need. Uh, we did bring that just in case. Uh, obviously, we have the steering wheel for reference on the color. The other one just looked a little more brown. This one looks a little more black with a little bit of a blue tinge to it. All right, so I think you got the suede and the foam for this thing. We're pretty much good to go. We've got some uh, stuff that we're gonna use for the edges to lock it down and we're gonna get some 3M77 adhesive spray from probably Lowe's or something, just for the main bulk of it. And yeah, guys, the foam stuff was expensive, bro. Actually, way more than the suede was. The suede's probably gonna be like half the price. There it is. There it is. There's 90 and 77. I say we go with the 77, dude. Everyone online was saying the 77 was good. Oh, this weather, dude. Come all the way down to Knoxville, Tennessee, and it's raining. <laughs> oh. We're back home. We've got everything laid out for the basically the foam first and then the suede. We've done a little bit of patchwork, as you can see, on some of these areas that were really just flaking off, and uh, this one actually came off altogether, but it seems to be on there pretty good now. We did some more patchwork up here. It's just duct tape, so it should serve its purpose but went ahead and hit it again with the wire wheel a little bit, cleaned it up some more. The only thing I'm worried about is back here. I don't know if the camera picks that up. Maybe if I kind of, yeah, you can see a little bit more, but this stuff, even if I just run my hand over it, it starts to flake off. And I don't want to take too much out and totally ruin the rigidity of this piece because this stuff 
is not all that thick. Dave's over here getting the live stream all set up. So what we're gonna do is actually live stream while we're putting the suede on. So you guys will get like double content on this. You'll be able to see the BTS behind the vlog because obviously we'll be vlogging while we're live streaming. So that'll be cool. And you guys just get lots of coverage on this whole interior thing which as I kind of promised initially and I didn't really hold my word, it's been like a week and I feel really bad because I wanted to get started on the sooner, but long story short, I'm here to bring you good content. So stay tuned. We're about to get ready to jump into this headliner suede reupholstery thing. It's gonna be sick. Now we've basically taken the foam and laid it out underneath. So if I lift this back, you can see we've kind of sandwiched the headliner in there and we're just gonna cut it, give us a nice probably inch, inch and a half on either side. We've got almost four inches going this way, so we have plenty of coverage on this thing. So we just need to get it cut, and then we can start putting down adhesive and getting this thing actually mounted onto the headliner. So now we're at a point where we're ready to put the actual adhesive on this material so we can at least start by pulling it back about halfway. That way we're not working with too much material all at one time. And at least with this, and I'd imagine most concrete, uh, you know, contact cements, anything like that, you want to spray both the side that you're adhering to as well as the fabric or whatever it is that you're, you're using. So spray both sides. We're gonna use quite a bit of glue on this. Just, you know, it's an old headliner. I'd rather only do this process once than have to go back and fix, you know, sagging or whatnot later on. So we're basically gonna start by hitting probably the headliner, getting this totally soaked in glue, as well as this half of the foam, which we've cut out to size. We're gonna come back, flip it over on top after about five to 10 minutes once it's tacky, and then just massage it out and make sure we have a nice flat surface that we can then put the suede onto. excited to put the suede on now. I think the foam was such a good move. Like getting a good foam underneath is gonna make the fabric lay a lot flatter. Just yeah, because and it doesn't have this like nasty groovy. Right now I'm basically just cutting the excess foam off of the headliner. We just went ahead and flipped it over so I can clearly see my line to cut and it is tacked on pretty well at this point. I mean, it's not gonna fall off just from moving the headliner around, so it is okay to flip it and move it. Um, but I would probably, I don't know, give it another 10, 15 minutes before we actually start putting on the suede, uh, let this dry and tack up a little bit more. Now we have the entire foam laid out on the headliner and glued down, we've cut the edges, everything is laid out nicely, and it actually stuck onto the particle board really well. So now we're just gonna repeat the process. We've got the suede cut out to the right size. Again, hit this side, cake it on, let it tack up and start to dry a little bit. I think we waited five to 10 minutes last time. We'll do the same again. Spray this side, same deal, put it on and rub it out slowly. I just was thinking, and both David and I were thinking, it's uh, probably a good idea to make sure your hands are extremely clean, especially if you're working with a suede type fabric. You don't want that glue or whatever grime is in your hands getting into the fibers because you will never be able to get it out. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and start spraying this. We're on our first can still. Got about, I don't know, a third of a can left. Probably use all of this and then dip into the other can. We have finished laying the suede onto the headliner. We're gonna go ahead and let it dry for the night before we go and cut all our edges and get everything trimmed out. But you can see just how nice this looks. Um, obviously we haven't cut out anything yet. The sunroof hole is still here and all that stuff. I will show you the only one imperfection. I'm not confident if it was our doing, but there's one spot here and it's actually on the back of the headliner so you won't really see it, but that's the only imperfection on this. You know, I don't even know if the camera will pick that up, but it's either glue that seeped through 
or there was already a stain in this fabric and we just didn't notice it. But I mean, either way guys, this is just such an upgrade for the Prelude. It is gonna look unreal when all the pillars and the whole Prelude is black on the inside. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos guys. It's gonna be sick. Goal for today is to get the rest of the headliner basically finished and then we're going to also try and pull out the sun visor and get that done. And that will probably be the entirety of this video and then we'll make other videos for actually wrapping the pillars and doing all the paintwork and stuff. So for today, just going to try and finish this up. You guys can see the final product and maybe even see it back in the prelude. I hope, I'm kind of hoping so. Hopefully this to. goes quick, the sunroof goes fairly quick and we can maybe start to piece some stuff back in there. Now we're on to the next step, which is going to be finishing or actually just starting and doing the entire sunroof visor. So we just got the visor out. We have the glass up front loose, uh, basically loosened it off of these brackets up front. And we took off, there was a Phillips head screw that was basically just sitting kind of like that. So just pop that out. You do have to flex the thing that Dave's working on, the actual visor right there. You do have to flex it a bit in the middle <clears throat> to allow clearance to pull it up and out. So just be patient with it and you know try not to break it. So now what we have to do is the same thing as prior. We're gonna peel off all of the existing foam and this fabric on top, clean it up, spray it down with glue, get the suede and the foam on, and then we'll put it back in. We've got the foam attached to the headliner. We saved ourselves about a quarter inch here off of, and these are covered in masking tape, which is why they don't look the same on yours. Uh, we covered this little edge here. It's like a felt, a thicker felt that actually runs on the slider of the sunroof. So we didn't want to get any fabric or glue on top of that. So we threw masking tape on, threw the foam, and then went about a finger's width from there. And our plan initially was to put the suede down and then uh, get it all tacked in and then make a cut basically right on top here. So that way it will end right at the edge of this masking tape and we'll have this nice flat edge to basically seal on because we're not gonna be wrapping it over. We can probably wrap it over up on the front and definitely on the back, but right here, because these are the runners for the slider, we don't wanna mess with that. If you guys can figure out a better way to do it, you know, I definitely don't say that this is, or I definitely don't think that this is necessarily the best way to do it, but this is kind of what we thought of. The thing we're gonna do now is lift this up, get it sprayed down, tack the whole thing on, and then just take a brand new razor blade that Dave's setting up right now, and make a very sharp and hopefully accurate cut along this edge, and that should hopefully seal it up. We are gonna put some of that 6,000 stuff right there, I think. Um, I'm not, oh, here it is. We're gonna put a little bit of this on that edge just to make sure we seal it nice and tight. All right, guys, we just finished everything on the sun visor. I think we're pretty much done. All we're gonna have to do is, again, do our edging, get this backside rolled under and glued on. We're gonna cut as straight as we can that edge that I showed you before on either side. And then we're also gonna roll the front underneath. So you really won't be able to see any edges on the front or back. We just need to try and make these sides as clean as possible. But as you can tell, we've got a nice suede all over the sun visor. This job is almost complete. Last night, guys, David and I worked well into the evening, but we were able to finish the entire install on this headliner. It looks amazing. I mean, I can't even begin to explain how excited I am to get this entire interior in black. I mean, just seeing the headliner in full suede now, Oh, it's gonna look so good once we have the matching seats, carpet, and plastic, and everything done up in here. So guys, make sure you put a big thumbs up on this video for this hard work. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the work, what we could have done differently, what we could have done better. You know, props for what we did right. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome guys, this is uh, my Prelude crib. Just wanted to show you guys around real quick. We're rocking the suede steering wheel with the quick release and the newly added suede headliner baby look at that I have to ask you to go i'll see you guys later thank you for checking out my crib <laughs> no I'm, I'm just kidding guys we're friendly here on elevated media thank you guys so much for tuning into these videos and watching us struggle through these installs but hopefully you guys like the results we do we're very happy with it excited to get going on the rest of the install with that being said make sure you like comment subscribe leave some love down in the comment section i'll see you guys next time keep elevating peace out